started in 1954, looking like people. And then, by 1957, they had peanuts. This is in 1962. The guys I know, that's who I grew up on. That's who I remember. Till today. Guess what me and Lima are doing? We're, We're about to camp. So we are at a black owned RV park in Worthen, Georgia. It's called Worthen RV Park. Uh, let's see if we can take you go see the sign real fast. So you guys can know where we are. Cause this is super awesome. We saw them on um, Fox and Miles uh, YouTube channel. And well, we, I did. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God, there's a black owned RV park. I gotta go and literally the same day while I was watching it I literally paused it looked it up of course it, it was real I was so happy oh there's a sign let's see if you can see the sign yeah can you zoom in can you see it can't zoom in well let's just walk over there it says Warden RV Park black owned so anyway yeah, girl, it was gone. Anyway, so I paused it, looked it up on IG, looked at the prices, like, oh my gosh. So we literally four days later, we're out here. And they actually have like a um a meetup. So like there's these are all the tent campers over here. We'll definitely take you to go see the RVs. They got some really nice RVs parked out there. They got this nice little worth. It's it's a lot going on this weekend, so really happy we decided today to come anyhow just gonna get into this time lapse so you guys can see us put up our tent for the first official official time at a campsite because we set it up once at home just to make sure we weren't gonna get out here and look like crazy people <laughs> so get into this time lapse peace Okay, so we got the tent up. Um, probably didn't pick the best spot because we're not actually under the shade. Thankfully, you know, it comes with the cover over it, but like maybe a better choice would have been that one over there where it's probably 10 degrees lower because it's in the shade. So let me just feel. Yeah. Oh my God, it's literally so much cooler. Okay, I don't know, I think we may move because it's a thousand degrees cooler than me. You know, it's my body's thing. Yeah, oh my God, it's so cool over here. Like, 
It's a thousand. Okay, we're gonna have to read it. So I think we're gonna redo this whole thing because it's hot and we need to be in the cool. I don't know. You should always follow your first mind. So maybe we should stay where we are. I don't know. We'll be back. Peace. So I am back. You, you know, guys, this first camping trip is turning out to be pretty good thus far. Uh, I'll show you our little setup. Um, it, but it's hot. You know, we're in Georgia, middle of summer. Show you a Lima in here. A Lima's in there watching a movie. I don't know if you can see her. She's in there watching a movie. Watching a movie, having a good time. <laughs> I'm about to cook. No, no, okay. Oh, it's Mariam. Uh huh. Ruth, nice to meet you, Ruth. We'll be around. She said, "My babies." No, it's okay. Ditto. I got a tag. No, I'm not allergic to ants. I'm just thinking about like if you set on the ant pile, that it's not gonna stop. Uh, I don't think I, I didn't see like before we put up the tent. I sprayed the ground. Uh huh. Did I? So hopefully, uh, I didn't see. I didn't see anything, but I just sprayed just in case. But I saw somebody do that. Yeah, we outside. <laughs> Shoot, I saw. I made I've sure. I've done that before. I've never had a problem with ants in the tent before. So. Well, this is our first time camping, so. We're excited. That's why we're documenting. <laughs> We've never awesome. camped before. Fun. We've done it some, but we still feel new, you know, because it's like we don't do it often enough. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a first time for this year. So hopefully we'll do it like two more times in the year. Hopefully. You had no yonder? Huh? You, you going over there? Yeah, I'm going over there. We'll be over there soon. I'm just about to fix lunch. I walked first, but then I'm like, it's a long way from my mom in the heat. It's like too hot. So oh, to pick her up. drive back, so when she wants to come back. See, that's what daughters are for. Yeah, She's gonna make sure she picks up her mommy. Take care of my mama. It's liter it's literally right there, but in this heat, it's not literally right there. Okay, let's eat a little bit, Ruth. So I'm about to cook these um Beyond burgers on our lovely butane grill. I'm actually gonna put some um I'm gonna put some aluminum foil down because I don't feel like you know cleaning it after I'm done you know I don't know if I want to have you guys you know still going on because then I feel like I have to entertain you guys because uh, you know just watching somebody cook no well we watch people cook all the time so you know what you guys are gonna laugh a ride either you watch or you don't watch you know what I need I need hand sanitizer I'll be right back and we're back <laughs> Okay, now we've got the butane stove all set up. It's all, you know, she's looking good. Let y'all see my action jackson going on. We use the propane cylinder. We brought some um, instant light charcoal for later because we're gonna be doing uh, some veggie dogs over an open fire, over an open fire. And we're also gonna be doing s'mores, but of course, kosher marshmallows we're gonna have a good time it's just gonna happen they've got an awesome stuff I can't wait to take y'all over yonder because they've got a pretty awesome setup over there we'll probably take the um we'll probably take the uh, drone over there and do some nice drone footage yes but I'm just super excited um it was a pretty decent drive. Yeah, it was exactly about two hours, five minutes away from Atlanta. So really, I'm making weird sounds because of the wind, I guess. Um, really not a far drive. Really good. Um, the site is awesome. I really like the tent site. Nice clothes is right over yonder. Um, you know, you know, it's kind of hot, so it's just, you, they can't, you know, do anything about that. So thankfully I'm right in the shade right now, so I can throw this breeze. We set up camp 
outside of under the tree, outside of the under tree um, shade. Lima didn't want to move, so whatever. Okay, we'll make it happen. But um, yeah, I just wanted you guys to you know come along with us. You know, we've never I, we've never gone camping, so this is really really nice. You know. Traveling on the back roads. It's funny. I, I'm so used to traveling on the back roads in South Carolina that I'm not like I'm not uh, wary of any, you know White supremacists trying to jump out. I mean, I don't know. I feel comfortable in my own white supremacist neck of the woods than in a part of um, Of a state or you know a region that I've never I've never been so I've never been in the backwoods of Georgia so it is like, you know, I don't have someone close by their home. You know, I don't know, it, it, it was a little, I don't know, you know, traveling while black in this world, you know, especially this country. And oh gosh, another awesome RV just pulled up. Can't wait to take you guys over there. But yeah, just traveling while black. This Like, that's why it's so, it's so poignant that we have our own platforms and our own groups so we can, just like, you know, they had the green books, like we, we still need that today because things just aren't different. They're exactly the same to where we got to move. We can't, we, you know, we got to move the same way we've been moving. Caut like, we, you do have to move cautiously. And for those that say that they don't move cautiously, I mean, hooray and hoorah for them. But I mean, I always have my ears and my eyes open because I know the enemy is against me at all times. So you cannot sleep because the enemy doesn't sleep. He never sleeps. If he was asleep, he wouldn't be in the situation that we're in now. So it will definitely be different. It, it's definitely a lot less, you know, on the chest when you have numbers. So the fact that it's just me and her that we traveled by ourselves, it was a slightly daunting, but when you have numbers, it's, it's very, it's extremely less daunting because you know they try something. It's like, bro, we 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 ready, we deep, we ready regardless because we always deep. Good. Allah is always with us, regardless whether you by yourself. Exactly. You know, if yeah. two join, then Allah is there. But I mean, if I'm by myself, Allah is always with me. So we always two, two, two together. So we always rolling and riding deep. So I mean, you know. On a lot of the believers rely, so put those worries to rest. I don't know if y'all can see. Oh, let me see if y'all can see it. Oh, yeah, you can. Do you see the perspiration? It's hot. It is It is hot, bro. It's hot. Rocking my new MG t-shirt. Uh, what does it say? Get fit. For life, get it for life, get it for life. Yes. Oh gosh, uh, let you guys see. Look at these yummy, yummy, yummy burgers. Yeah, we eat. We're eating way too many Beyond burgers. We gotta stop eating them because they're they're not that great for you. We know. There's they're not they're not really healthy for you. They were bean burgers. That'll be different. They're not bean burgers. Okay, but yeah, look, the fire pit's over there. We're gonna be over there. Uh, can you see it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, we're gonna be over there tonight. Having a little bonfire. Bonfire, bonfire. I'm so excited. Every, all my neighbors have left so I can sing loud. Um, I think one, I think the lady over here, her friend is coming to meet her. I think she went to the Walmart, which is like 15 minutes or so up the road. And this lady over here bought some buck spray because apparently she... Oh, that was the lady I spoke to uh, that, that was on the camera earlier. She, um... she had, We bought bug spray because I was not trying to sleep with bugs, you know. I know we're in their territory, but for, for the night, I'm going to need for you to give me some repass. So, anywho, she bought some because... She had like a little bit of an ant infestation. I was like, oh no. So of course, you know, we let her use um, some buck spray. Bro, these burgers are smelling delish. Getting nice and brown.
I'm so glad I brought this aluminum foil because definitely don't want to be cleaning up anything. Put that in my trash bag and keep it pushing. Hey. Ooh, Alima, can you smell the burgers? Yeah. They smell good, don't they? Yeah. I had to, y'all, I had to take my my drape off. I had to take my drape scarf off because I could have fell out. I, I might have died. Oh, she wants y'all to see her. She wants you guys to see her. Oh, look, look at this child. <laughs> She's a weirdo. <laughs> Oh yeah, so oh this is an electrical tent site. So they've got all these um electrical hookups. So we've got um our extension cord going in. Do you guys know I have this huge 20 foot fan? I have a huge 20 foot fan. Do you know what I brought with me? A fan that's smaller than my face. I brought my bedside fan. I don't I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. You know, because when you've never done something before, you kind of, you, you know, you just be like, oh, I'm going to bring my fan, right? I'm a, that's the fan I sleep with. You outside in the middle of the hot summer heat, bring the 20-inch fan. I don't know why I didn't. Like, I really don't. It's so hot. Had a whole 20-inch fan. Tempted to go to Walmart and buy one and take it back in the morning. We'll see. All right, y'all, these burgers are about to be done. We're going to go ahead and eat. We're going to reconvene when we go over there to uh, all the RVers, and you guys can see the rest of the setup. Peace. So this is the pavilion. You know, we got some people over here. Watch some you games. Ride We're about to go ATVing. You guys are going to see some footage of that. It's the clubhouse. Beautiful bathroom in there. W men and women bathroom. Awesome. Oh, it's so clean. I know we're gonna take a nice shower probably either tonight or tomorrow. Well, you know we should take a shower tonight. No. But yeah, this is just beautiful. Oh, I'm it's so nice. Oh, let me give y'all some good footage. Look, I mean, the, 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 the beauty of these. Oh, they've got. Where did he go? Oh. Y'all, they've got um, fifth wheels, class A's, class B's, class C's, trailers, compact trailers. I mean, you've got your tenter. It's just, it's just awesome. Ooh, the ATV is coming. I'm excited. Ooh, and I'm going to steer. Y'all ready? Cheese. Hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. Here on, comes baby. the cootie squad. We should. Shut up, Heather. Sorry, Heather. Oh. Look who's with her. Oh, my God. Dang, dang, diggity, dang, dang. Dang, dang, diggity, dang, dang. All for my IG. <laughs> different than being at the beautiful war then um, our camp is on gravel I'm very confused I booked a tent only campsite and um, it's literally on the gravel I'm very confused I mean like they you get your own um, fire grill and another grill over there and whatnot but like I don't know, being on the gravel is very, very confusing. I don't even know. So we booked for two nights, but we're probably only gonna stay out here one night because we have to go to my mom's house and um and feed her animals because she's, sorry, I'm trying to y'all can see my face. Uh, probably gonna go to that. Oh, dang. Oh. It's in the trees. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. They're a deer. like deers are just super close. Like they just be walking past the street. They just be 
right next to you. Where you go? Right there. So this part is nice. Yeah. Well, this is so much. This is a different, like campsite area that has like electrical hookups or whatever. But no one's right there right now. So we came down, which is crazy because their campsite was like right by the, right by the water. Ours is too, but we have a lot of um. So yeah, but we have a lot of like trees by ours. This is beautiful. Let so make, let them watch them to see my hands in the water. Wait. This is, this is Shady Grove. This is Lake Lanier, where they where they buried the town of Oscarville. Our black people were thriving, had a beautiful town, and they put it underwater. Oscarville, Georgia. Now we're at Lake Lanier. And this lake has taken more souls than any other man-made or any other lake that I've heard of. They said about 600 souls. And why do you think that is? It's because they, you, you, can't, you can't do wrong and think you're going to get right. No, no, no. I think they only take the souls of the people that help, uh, you know, put the town under water. Mm. Beautiful lake. It's a beautiful sight, although I'd rather look at a black town than all this water. We could have drove to the beach. But I wanted to come see some of our ancestors, pay my respect. 